If you go to the IRS free file website, do your taxes for free, and I will leave the link down below, you have two options. You can literally click use free file fillable forms and you're going to get like a PDF version of the 1040 or whichever form you need to fill out your taxes. They'll have you make an account and everything, but literally that's only for people who know how to read tax forms and know where everything goes. It's a lot harder. If this is your first time, I would not choose this option, but if you are a tax expert or you've done this before, this is a great option for you. It's very straightforward, just the form and you go and you fill in every single box. If that's what you want, great, click that. If not, I think most people are gonna go with this option and it's a choose an IRS free file offer. So the file online options for free, you can browse all of them or you can use their start lookup tool. And the difference is that this one is just gonna give you a list of all of them and you can kind of pick and choose after looking through them or you can start the lookup tool, which allows you to input information about yourself, and then they'll give you a few of the best options for you. So I'm just gonna go through this really quick, but it says, yes, these programs are safe. Your information is not gonna be sold or distributed. And what does this mean? And it's saying that as long as you qualify under their guidelines, and I'll go back up to that, then it's gonna be free. Some of you may end up paying, but only because you don't qualify under the guidelines. And the guidelines are up here. If you make an AGI or adjusted gross income of less than 73,000, then it will be free. If you make more than that, you might have to pay. And it says some offers include a free state tax return. I know for Minnesota, I've always had to pay a fee for that. Depending on your state, it might be free or it might not be but we're going to start with the browse all feature. So everything is right here. You can just kind of go through and it shows you your AGI has to be this much for it to be free, any age, any state of residence. And it, so it shows that for every single one that you do and you look at. So depending on how much money you make, um, there might be some that fit you, there might be some that don't. Obviously this one is 65,000 or less and this one's 39,000 or less. So it's really dependent on how much money you make. Um, a lot of them are 73,000, just like they said earlier. If you wanted to filter, you could, let's say we make 50,000 and we are 30. Um, we're, we don't have the earned tax uh, credit. We're not in the military. And let's say for me, I'm in Minnesota. You can hit apply and the ones that do work for you will stay up here. Um, you would view their offer and then it would be on their website. So again, all of these are safe to use, recommended by the IRS and approved and dependent on you and how you want to file your taxes. You are able to pick whichever one you want. We're going to go back to the main site here, the online filing free options and we're going to use the lookup tool and I'm going to go through this really quick so remember like I said you get to answer a few things about yourself to find the best option for you we're going to say we're married filing jointly we're going to list my spouse as the primary and let's say he is turning 31 we are in the United States we're in Minnesota we do not receive military pay. And again, these are all going to be geared towards you. So not my answers, but your answers. You're going to say, did I um, earn any income? Yes, I did. So pre-tax wages, let's say we made, again, $50,000. I wanted to add my spouse. I could add their money here too. Did you do any of these things? We just say FSA health insurance premiums, you can put them in there. Let's say we put $2,000 into a 401k and we put a $1,500 into an HSA and then we paid, uh, let's say, five or $10,000 for health insurance premiums throughout the year. You're going to have to go through each and every one of these and just put in numbers. And you want to be as close as possible on the dot. Um, if you don't have your info yet, that's fine. You can kind of guess. But like I said, the better, the closer you are, the better options you're going to have that are actually fitting for your situation. So go down the line, make sure everything that you have is here. I'm just going to stop there, but it shows you your AGI is 86,500. Um, 86, Obviously, if I were to say, you know, um, 
I actually paid $8,000. This is adjusted, as you can see, it went up $2,000. Adjusted gross income is 88500 Down here, it says attention. Based on the info you provided, you're not eligible for a free file online offer. It has to be less than 70000 or less. So you might want to double check your income or you can explore those filing fillable forms that I showed you guys. Um, but this option is not going to be great for me because I made too much money, basically, is what they're saying. So if that's the case, then I would just stop and I would go find my own option. You can still use one of those options um, if you wanted to try. Otherwise, there's a lot of other options. I have gone through H&R Block, I've gone through TurboTax, and I'm planning to go through a few others if I've got time to show everyone what's available out there. But let's get rid of the second income, let's say we only made 5000 or 50000 and everything else is the same. AGI is 38000 You can see that notice is gone, meaning we do qualify. So then you would hit next, earn income tax credit. And if you don't know what that is, it's if um, you've got dependents under the age of 19 or between 19 and 23 who are full-time students. If you're still confused, they've got this thing here. And it says a dependent usually is a child, but not always, or relative who meets a criteria. They have to be a U.S. citizen, um, and they're usually going to be people under the age of 19, the students under the age of 23 who still live with their parents, those that are disabled, or other relatives who you are responsible for their care. So let's say I've got a, one child. Based on your impasse, we believe you and your spouse are not eligible for this. And you can say, well, why is that? And it lists everything here. So if you, your AGI has to be less than these things, depending on how many kids you have. Let's say we had the one, our AGI would have to be less than 42,000 if I was single filing head of household. But because I'm filing married, one child it has to be less than $48,000. I actually do think that we are eligible. I'm not sure if it's an error in their system, but earlier it showed that we had 38,000 for adjusted gross income. And so it does look like they might be basing it off that 50 I put in. So we're going to say, yes, we are eligible. Or if you wanted to determine eligibility, you could do that and then come back. But I'm just going to say, yes, we are based on the numbers they're giving us. Now it's showing us everything that would work for us. The AGI is 38,000 there. So you can re-enter, you can edit, you can just look at these options. And really what that was is going, it's, it's a more specific version of the other tool where you're allowed to put in your own information before having to go on each of one of these sites. If you want this option, you can get it. Otherwise, the very basic option was the first one I went through where you could just filter it and then pick them. This is, again, the same thing. It's just more specific to you and adding information about dependents. So that is the IRS file free option. You can look at any one of these. Like I said, you just hit view offer and try it out. I'm very big on how the website looks, how professional it looks, and just the overall user friendliness of the website. So I like to click on these things, see what they look like, and then decide based off that. If you don't care, you know, whichever option you think is great for you would work out of this list. Otherwise, play around with it, see what you like, see what you don't like, and then get your taxes done. That deadline's coming up, so don't forget, everyone, get your taxes done. If you have questions, send them my way. Otherwise, this was a complete walkthrough through the IRS's free file online tool. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.